So it's day three, and I'm feeling good. I did some arm exercises yesterday at the gym, um, and I'm feeling that, but I'm not necessarily feeling the rest of it. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, for breakfast today, I'm having um, a bagel with um, natural peanut butter and also some watermelon. I bought a big watermelon at Walmart yesterday and I've just been eating a lot of watermelon. Um, so far, as far as the food goes, that's been the easy part. The hard part is going to the gym for three hours um, and then like still having the energy to like do what I need to do when I get home. Um, so hopefully my writing hasn't suffered too much, but I'm feeling good about this, so. So I'm going to do a full body spin once a week for the duration of the challenge, and so this is week one. Hoping to lose a little of this. Maybe a little of this and a lot of this. So it's day three and I'm heading to the gym. Uh, ready for my three hour workout today. We're gonna do a little swimming and some cardio and you know the usual. But I'm feeling really good. I'm not really that sore yet. Um, basically just in my upper body because I'm like so weak. Like you would not believe it. Like I went home and I had to like lift myself onto the dock to get out of my pond and it was a sea, let me tell you. People were laughing and pointing. And I have no upper body strength whatsoever. Yesterday, I lifted 10 pounds and I'm sore. So I'm definitely gonna try to develop that a little bit more. Um, but yeah, my cousin's coming tonight, so you know, just gotta make it back before she gets into town. 234 calories and counting. TV that I can like understand again where people speak English and I think this is when I was like oh well I don't need to work out I didn't work out all last year and I never put on anything but then slowly the pounds kept creeping on because I had it in my head that as long as I just lead a normal life that I could keep the weight off but it wasn't true so anyways this is my first realization that skinny people go to the gym. So 
so I'm back from swimming. Um, so today I completed my three hours of working out, except I did one chunk of two hours and one chunk of, or in one chunk of one hour because my cousin came and I had to like let her in and see her and stuff. She's driving out west. Um, so that kind of broke up my day and then we had to take one of the stray cats to the vet. So I was like super stressed out and just like doubting my entire life and what's happening and I got really sad and my boyfriend had to help me pull that back out. But anyways, um, got home and feeling better now because I had my coconut cream for the day. Thank you, coffee mate. You made my day. Um, so yeah, all I had in, in the coconut cream is just a little bit of that coffee creamer, which is about 35 calories for a tablespoon, um, skim milk, and then the espresso, which is about 15 calories. Um, so altogether, it's about like 130 calories, I would say. Um, so not too bad, but I obviously can't have more than one during the day. Um, and I'm about to eat dinner. And I think I'm debating on either making pasta with lots of veggies in it, um, the whole grain pasta, or just having like a big fruit bowl with like cashews and like peanuts and stuff in it. So we're going to debate on that and then I'll get back to it. Um, my day two video finally processed, which I'm really excited to see because the whole reason I'm making these videos is to keep myself motivated. And today was kind of tough. So anyways, that's what's happening. So today for dinner, I decided to veto both the fruit and the pasta and decided instead to go with soup. Um, so this is Amy's Organic Soup. I always try to go organic when dealing with veggies because I don't like the idea of like pesticides and all that stuff. Um, chunky tomato bisque. Um, the one thing that you do want to watch out for is the serving size. In just this one can, it's actually two servings of soup. Um, but I'm under 1,000 calories for today, um, and in the whole can, there's only 260 calories, so that's still good for, like, a, for a dinner. So I'm eating the whole can. The one thing I'm a little bit worried about is the sodium content, because it's 28% of your daily intake, and that's for the one serving. So that's almost 50%, but judging from what I've eaten today, I should be okay. Um, if you do eat too much sodium, though, I've heard you can, like, kind of, um, gain water weight, and it kind of, like, holds the weight to your stomach. Um, so this isn't going to be, like, something I eat all the time. Um, but we'll see how it goes.